In this Insta Jam, I'll be showing you how you could apply the scribble effect to almost anything in Adobe Illustrator to give it a pencil like feel. Insta Jam. Hey everybody, it's Rupert from Jam, and let's open up Illustrator. Make sure whatever it is that you want to add scribbles to is right in front of you and tag along. I'll be using this logo here, so first I'm going to duplicate it over to the side holding Alt or Option and dragging it to keep the original version of the logo just in case any mistake happens along the way. Now hold Ctrl and Shift and press O to expand the text and change everything to a vector path. Now copy everything you just expanded and then paste it in front using Ctrl Command F. Click on the elements you just pasted on top and give them a stroke color and remove their fill. Select both of the fills and use a lighter color to resemble the shading. Make sure the strokes as well as the fills are grouped together. Give our strokes some rounded corners from the strokes tab, play around with it however you like. Now once you're done with this step, select the fill color, go to effect, style as and choose scribble. If you can't see the effect being applied in real time, it's probably because you have your preview turned off. This is where the magic happens. You have four main settings to play with here. Path overlap, which controls how much of the scribbles go outside of the defined area. And then you have the stroke width, which obviously comes from its name, the thickness of the lines. Curviness, which controls the amount of curves in the scribbles. And spacing, which controls the distance between each line. Now you're gonna ask, what's variation? Think of variation as the randomizer. It adds the effect, but randomly at random places. Sounds cool? Once you're done adjusting and playing around with the values, go ahead and click OK. Great, you can stop here, however, how about we push it further? Select your outer strokes and go to Effect, Distort, Roughen. Then turn on the Preview and change it to Absolute. And play around with the settings just enough to make it look like it's hand-drawn. A little bit of shake comes a long way in adding realism. Now copy everything from Illustrator and apply it on any mockup and you're done. See you later!